I feel so on top of my shit right now. I am making Thursday's video before Wednesday's video has even gone up. Shit, even later today, I could possibly stream. I could possibly make another video, even for Friday. God, this is honestly such a really fucking awesome feeling. Why don't I do this more often? It'll just make my YouTube life so much easier. Instead of having to stress about videos at like 2 o'clock in the morning. So anyways, now guys, uh, clearly I'm back here on the OG COD 4, and my server list is still not loading. But uh, I've seen some comments over the past couple of days asking me to play on some hardcore servers. I think it was like Ice Ops or some shit. So here's what we're gonna do. COD 4 PC. Ice Ops Hardcore. Yeah, I guess I'll just type that in on Google and I'll see what I get. Okay, hold on. Alright, so there's the IP. Ice Ops Hardcore, blah blah blah. And System 1... Uh, nope, not fucking doing it. Yeah, I don't run the 1.8 version at all. I run 1.7. I don't know what it is about the 1.8 version, but uh, for whatever reason, it's just extremely buggy on my computer. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and we'll do... Uh, I'm pretty sure this H4X server is a hardcore server. Honestly though, I really do not know why I'm about to uh, go ahead and try to play this because this is going to be a very bad time. Since I'm joining a hardcore server, I suppose I just go ahead and throw on sleight of hand and uh, we'll just see how this goes. All right, so let's spawn into this fucking chaos. Oh, wait a second. I chose the wrong goddamn class. Wait, choose class. Oh, I put it on my reg scope class. Oh, okay. That fucking figures. I also just realized I need to change my name on here from obey Rick Squid to insert clan tag of Lycan Rick's Kue. All right, nice. Let's go. Why the fuck am I playing on a hardcore server? I mean, like, this has got the population of fucking C4S and it's hardcore. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I'm moving a lot faster on this server. I don't know why this is a thing. Yeah, so the thing of it is, uh, I clearly don't play on hardcore servers for uh, extremely obvious reasons. It's not just because I suck, it's also because I get very mad very fucking quick. And I have a feeling I'm literally the only sniper- okay, wow, we got two fucking people spraying with LMGs, this is great. And also, I just realized, I don't even know why I bothered putting Sleight of Hand on because of the population. See, back in the day when hardcore headquarters on, uh, COD- No, absolutely fucking not. Nope, 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 I'm done. I just got a fucking hit marker in hardcore. It's probably because I didn't have deep impact on, but I mean, then again, it's fucking hardcore, and it's like I shot that guy in the big fucking toenail. So you know what? No, 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 no. We're just gonna leave that, and we're just gonna go back to C4S, okay? Well, the point that I was about to make was that uh, back in the day on Xbox, I want to say in like 2011, I want to say, was when uh, there was a ton of people that were playing hardcore headquarters on COD 4, so everyone was running around with like M40s, M21s, and practically everything, but just using sleight of hand, because it was a lot easier to go ahead and just reload the M40 or uh, maybe even the R700 and try and hit some sort of kill feed, feeding clip, quad feed, whatever the fuck. Actually, it was quad feeds back in 2011. Good god, I miss those days. Imagine if I was good! I also just realized there's a couple of other people in the server that are going for the Sore RC. Fantastic. We got Digitalize, Ranger, uh, Devil Dusk, myself, and okay, actually, yeah, we're the only four. Nice. See, now, this is something I feel like I should have talked about a couple of days ago. <laughs> Daddy Rick's Quay. I feel like I should have talked about this a couple of days ago, but, um, but I would assume that most of you guys know who, uh, the real Sore Reese, real Texas Beach Reese is. And his introducing just went up on Sore the other day, and it kind of, um, I don't know if, uh, shining light onto the whole idea of PC gamers and just uh, PC players in general just joining these bigger teams like Soar, FaZe, I don't know about FaZe, but clearly Reese is a PC player, or is more or less predominantly. You know, actually, speaking of his introducing, a lot of the fucking comments on that video literally made me want to fucking kill myself. For one, there was more of the fucking PC doesn't count, you know what, no, if you believe that, honestly, go fuck yourself. Because most of the people that say PC doesn't count are gonna go ahead and say some shit like, oh, they're all hackers, blah 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 blah, but if you really gave a shit about it that much, to go ahead and uh, criticize everything, then go ahead and pay attention to the fucking clips. If it really makes your life that much better, then do it! Honestly, I'm just gonna try and fucking ignore all those comments because it's just such ignorance. The shit really just pisses me off. But anyway, I really don't even know how the fuck I got off on this tangent. But fact of the matter is, with Reese's introducing going up the other day on Swords, kind of uh, really shined a new light to PC players joining these bigger teams. And I think that's really fucking awesome. So anyways, now guys, going back onto the topic of uh, comments like I was talking about towards the start of this video, I've gotten a couple comments and tweets asking me if I was gonna go uh, live at the Lycan house, which is now apparently a thing. Honestly though, I feel kind of bad because I haven't really been paying attention to uh, to a whole lot of that whole situation. So anyways, yeah, like some people were asking if I'm gonna go live there or I should go live there and the thing of it is, I don't know about that. See now, there's a couple of factors as to the reason why I don't think I would live there. I would probably go visit there for like a short number of days, maybe, if I'm ever in North Carolina. But see, there's a couple of uh, deciding factors. Work, girlfriend, I already live here. And also another thing, this is gonna make me feel kind of bad saying this, but I am one of the most, uh, I don't know how I should say this, like reserved players in Lycan. I shouldn't even use the term players either because I'm not 
not a player, I'm just a cut and commer. I'm a director, okay? The fact of the matter is, though, is that uh, I don't really talk to a whole lot of the members in Lycan. Granted, I don't have any beef with anybody, I don't have a problem with anybody at all. I just don't talk to any of the members in the team, and I don't know why, I just don't. See, once again, it's not like I genuinely dislike anybody in the team or anything like that, it's just I don't talk, I'm just a very antisocial person. In general, I really am a shy person, I, I don't know why I am, I just am. I've always been that way, and it makes it a little bit better because my girlfriend is the exact same fucking way. You know, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and see when the last time I talked in the uh, team chat. Oh shit, I have over literally 1,000 unread messages. Oh my fucking god. So, uh, yeah, clearly it's been some time since I've talked in the team chat. Okay, wow, I didn't realize it was that long. I nearly got fucking quadded. Holy shit, okay. Okay, alright, well, uh, there's my little heart attack for the day, and I'm getting fucking destroyed. I'm going 6 for 16, and my team is getting obliterated, we're getting spawn trapped, it's time for me to leave. Okay. Yeah, so I originally got on COD 4 to play hardcore, and that lasted all of 30 seconds, and then I ended up getting my shit pushed in on C4S. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty basic day for me on COD 4.